en voiture. President, please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session, and the chamber gives the floor to the deputy international co-prosecutor to resume the submission. You may now proceed. I thank you, Mr. President. I'm turning now uh, to briefly speak about the uh, evidence of killings at S21. Uh, murder uh, and uh, extermination, Your Honors, is proven uh, beyond any uh, doubt uh, at this security office. Uh, it is admitted by the prison cadres, including Doig, uh, who has consistently testified uh, to your honors that uh, all those sent to S21 were to be smashed. And you heard testimony from the prison cadres who carried this out from uh, the cadre who recorded the names of the prisoners le who were being removed qui for execution, le nom des Mr. Susti, a à à the Susti. head of the guard unit whose task de was to take the prisoners uh, from the tool slang compound to Chang'ek, Mhui, and the head uh, of the unit at Chang'ek, uh, Toi Ten, that then took those prisoners uh, from Himhui to the mass graves uh, where they were, one by one, killed. And there can be no doubt about this testimony uh, because the names of the prisoners taken for execution were methodically recorded in lists that are in evidence in this trial. There are photographs of some of the executed prisoners. And when just a portion of the mass graves at Chang'ek were exhumed, uh, this is what was found. Inhumé, et c'est justement ce qui a été retrouvé. À l'image. Now we were fortunate uh, to hear in this trial from Vun Vuti, who conducted a study qui a uh, of the remains une étude uh, found at Chang'ek. His study. Uh, confirmed the number of skulls, a number uh, that had deteriorated uh, since the original exhumation in uh, 1981 to 83. And uh, of uh, great significance, Von Budi testified that when his team examined one by one the over 6,000 skulls a examiné un par un les there was only one, crânes, only one of the 6,000 uh, that did not have any markings uh, of violent uh, trauma. Trace traumatisme violent. Your Honors, um, what I'm about to show you, some gruesome photos. Je vais vous uh, these are the photographs macabres. of the very last victims of S21, victims de S21. Uh, whom Doik has identified as a Y10 cadres accused y of shooting Malcolm Caldwell. Um, as you heard from Doik, uh, by the time Caldwell. of these killings, uh, the other S21 prisoners had already been taken away and executed pursuant to the orders of Nunchea. But a small group of uh, these Y10 cadres had been kept for further interrogation. And as the very last acts of the S21 cadres uh, fleeing the tool slang compound, 
actual slang was to kill les cadres, uh, those prisoners with bayonets while they were shackled in their cells, decapitating one of them, as you see in this photograph. There are uh, many, many execution records uh, that record the killings of S-21 prisoners. And on the screen, you're seeing just uh, a few examples of those. Uh, as set out in our brief, um, the surviving execution lists include uh, at least 27 instance, instances of mass executions on single days exceeding 100 prisoners, and mostly during the 1977 and 78 purges. La période des purges de 77 et 78. Uh, in addition to the en plus uh, mass executions des très carried executions out in May 1978 uh, that I discussed uh, the other day, discussed yesterday, hier, uh, the surviving execution lists les listes document qui nous sont over a thousand prisoners uh, killed in a one-month period from que plus de uh, July 1st ont été tués en uh, to mois, the 3rd of August 1977, uh, starting with an execution of 129 women uh, on the 1st of July. Le juillet. And they record uh, more than 850 prisoners uh, killed over a one-week period in October 1977 including 418 people killed in one day on the 15th of October. On October 77, y compris 418 personnes exécutées en une seule journée le 15 octobre. Uh, the next slide Image suivante. Uh, is figure 1.7 uh, in our trial brief annexes, and it shows the total annexes. number of documented executions uh, by month um, for the execution records that are in evidence in this trial. Mois par mois pour, uh, in terms of the extermination charge, your honors, it is clear from this evidence alone, the execution lists, that there was tableau, an intent to kill on a massive scale. Il bel et bien and now, um, it may be a good time for me to briefly à très grande uh, address uh, the new a total number of S-21 prisoners uh, that was put forth uh, in our trial brief and annexes. And I, I preface my remarks um, uh, going back to uh, your first trial here in 2009. And at that time, we were working from uh, a combined prison list, prisoner list that had uh, 12,300 names. De comportant 12, and noms. Uh, when Doik was uh, asked about that total Quand Doik a été in his trial, sur ce nombre total, au cours de son uh, asked trial, about the total of 12,300 uh, prisoners at S21, uh, his response was de uh, that the actual number Il a dit uh, may have even exceeded that. Nombre réel était super. And I remember uh, uh, being struck by that even Et at the time. Je me souviens qu'à l'époque ça m'avait frappé. Because when a person is on trial en effet, quand uh, for the murder of 12,300 people, 12, uh, and they say that the number may actually be higher, réalité, le uh, est there's a pretty élevé, good chance the number is uh, not only higher, but a lot higher. Non seulement que le nombre soit and plus élevé, mais uh, beaucoup plus that élevé. is what we've seen in Or, uh, the new uh, list that was uh, uh, produced by OCIJ uh, and added uh, to the case file and into evidence last year. Um, we're very grateful uh, to the work uh, that was done uh, by this OCIJ analyst. Um, this is the first time Pour ce uh, to my knowledge, à that ma anyone has la fois uh, created a combined list uh, in which uh, each of the individual prisoners 
faisant apparaître uh, document, the, the source chaque for each of those personne prisoners is avec des documents attestant du sort de l'intéressé. Uh, uh, Il s'agit là d'une um, preuve extrêmement importante et utile et nous avons uh, la chance heard, de pouvoir uh, however, nous appuyer dessus. Uh, there were time limitations on what this savez, one person could do. And one of the things that was not done with the OCIJ list uh, was to uh, include list, and review all the execution lists. Inclure, the OCIJ number of 15,100 came primarily le from going through the entry records. Le bureau des instructions provient essentiellement des examens des listes d'entrée de prisonniers. We put together a team in our office. Et donc nous-mêmes dans notre bureau nous avons constitué une équipe. And we went through the execution records that are in evidence. Nous avons examiné les listes d'exécution qui sont outside looking for more execution records. And nous n'avons pas recherché d'autres documents d'exécution. Nous avons examiné ceux qui sont en dossier. Where there were uh, missing execution dates in the OCIJ list. Quand il y avait des dates d'exécution manquantes um, dans la liste du bureau des coches d'instruction, nous avons ajouté ce facteur. Et quand nous avons trouvé des prisonniers qui étaient added, sur la liste du BCJ, uh, nous les avons ajoutés comme étant the, the de nouveaux prisonniers. We found new prisoners si nous avons trouvé de nouveaux prisonniers, c'est parce que ni la liste des entrées ni la liste d'exécution étaient exhaustives. Dans les deux cas, il y avait des trous. Donc, si l'on prend uniquement la liste des entrées à S21, comme il y a des périodes pour lesquelles on n'a pas de données, comme il y a des documents qui manquent, tous les prisonniers ne sont pas englobés. C'est pourquoi il faut examiner à la fois la liste des arrivées S21 et la liste des exécutions. Nous l'avons fait. Je vous renvoie aux annexes que nous avons déposées. Um, we have now identified Et à présent, uh, 18,000, identifié approximately 18,000 18 names of prisoners, of de people prisoners detained at S21. De S21. And while the original OCIJ list only liste had uh, somewhat over 5,000 execution dates, seulement environ uh, we have added an additional 6,000 execution dates nous en avons ajouté based, environ just based. 6, uh, on Rien the execution list and So we have gone maintenant. now. Donc, présent, the state of affairs before, something you heard from Mr. Cope over and over, is why was, is, are there only 5,100 execution dates in the OCIJ list? The answer we heard from the analyst was she didn't have time to review them. We have now, and there are now over uh, 11,000 execution Nous dates fait, et that are donc on a un total de 11,000 dates d'exécution. Let me turn now to uh, another uh, rather critical issue, Je passe à un autre point which is Noon Chea's uh, role Il at S21. Du role uh, some of the most important and damaging evidence against Nunchea uh, comes from uh, the S21 chairman, Doik, uh, who has consistently testified that when Son Sen uh, was assigned uh, to the Eastern Battlefront in 1977, au front de l'Est en 1977 pour prendre la tête uh, des soldats du camp Tchad démocratique combattant contre le Doik avait commencé à faire rapport directement à Noon Chea. Doik a déposé concernant les ordres reçus de Noon Chea d'exécuter les grandes exécutions de l'Est. Uh, remaining de prisoners de at the end of the regime, and, and numerous other matters, um, which we do, uh, document extensively in our trial brief. Des uh, an important en fin issue here, though, is the corroboration of Doik's testimony Ce qui est uh, est uh, of his relationship uh, and Noon Chea's role at S21. De Doik, sur le this de is not a matter that is simply corroboré. proven by Doik's testimony. Ce pas prouvé seulement par we Doik. obviously know uh, from uh, documents and from uh, military uh, former so soldiers par who testified here that Son Sen was in fact soldats, in the East Zone commanding the troops. Est à la tête des Ng Siri 
uh, in an interview with Steve Hedder, Steve uh, told Hedder that when Son Sen went to the east, quote, Doik went directly Doik up to Nunchea. A directement fait rapport à Nunchea. And uh, most compelling, um, there is this S21 en confession il y a uh, from February 1978, uh, which contains a handwritten note, note by manuscrite. Doik recording an instruction he received from brother number two de la part du frère uh, to remove a number of the names from that confession. There is the testimony your honors heard aussi, uh, from Noon Che as messenger and bodyguard. Sok that he personally Sok delivered Tung, letters from the accused to Doik and also picked up thick envelopes of documents from Doik that he brought to Noon Chea. There are the numerous S21 confessions, as you see here, that contain annotations on the cover page that they were sent to Brother Noon. And there is this a a film clip in which the accused admits to Tet Sambat that he received many confessions. And if we could play uh, clip number one, le extrait numéro un. You told me you read the confessions, so you could use them to educate uh, the cadres. Les utiliser pour instruire les cadres. I would like to clarify with you Comment les avez -vous utilisé pour, uh, instruire les cadres how did you use inférieur? them to educate your uh, lower cadres? Regarding the ca réponse de reports, I did not read all of them. Je it was not my job to read them all. Car ce pas mon métier de tous les lire. We used the confession to educate our cadres, and they attacked us uh, materially. Et leur montrer que l'ennemi nous attaquait avec son matérialisme. Your honors, um, uh, it is clear from uh, irrefutable pieces of evidence. Il y a des preuves um, irréfutables qui montrent the markings on the S21 confessions alone. Uh, that Noon Chea played an instrumental role uh, in the les security office. Sur les documents de qui donc Let me que turn a uh, to a few comments in relation to Mr. Kusampan. Je passe à Kusampan. As we state in our brief, Comme indiqué dans nos conclusions and finales. let me start by acknowledging Et tout uh, Kusampan did not have the same role Noon Chea had when it came to S21. Nobody on our team argues that. Personne chez nous but Kusum Pan clearly had knowledge and he made a contribution, a significant contribution uh, to the joint the criminal enterprise. That is the basis uh, of our prosecution of Kusum Pan. Voilà sur quelle base and one of the places that we see that uh, is Accusant Pan's responsibility uh, for what was undoubtedly the most important prisoner uh, in all of democratic Campuchia, uh, the late King Father Nordam Sihanouk. And as we see in the Standing Committee minutes uh, for 11 March 1976, uh, when Sihanouk sought to resign uh, as the Grunk Head of State, uh, it was Kyu Sampan who presented the issue to the Standing Committee and took part in the deliberations on whether Sihanouk would be allowed to resign, whether he would be killed by the CPK or kept alive. As you see, the meeting decided Il a été décidé à la that réunion, comme vous le voyez, que Sihanouk ne serait pas, été, ne serait pas autorisé à quitter we le pays. Nous arrest, savons qu'il a été assigné à résidence au palais royal. But that he would be kept alive as long as he did not resist. Aussi longtemps However, qu'il ne se révolterait pas. L'image suivante est assez at meeting, importante. À cette réunion, uh, over, uh, at the Standing Committee, uh, 
it was decided to send a wire to see Nuke's children, asking them to come to Cambodia immediately, purportedly for the New Year's and Independence celebrations. But as is acknowledged uh, in the minutes, the real reason was so that the problem, the problem could be resolved cleanly. And we know that many of Sihanouk's children and relatives were killed during the regime, uh, as is in evidence from the King Father's own statements. At, at the beginning of my submissions yesterday, uh, I talked about Kusampan's participation in standing committee meetings that concerned arrests and security matters. And in the video you're about to see, the accused Dans reveals his knowledge, diffuser, uh, his personal knowledge uh, of leadership meetings at which decisions were made on whether to arrest fellow CPK leaders. De de la and if we could play clip number two, please. Du PCK. Now let's talk about the arrests. Parlons à présent des arrestations. The arrests involved detention, imprisonment, and death. In this regard, I am of the opinion that it is imperative that we distinguish the arrests approved by Salotso or Pol Pot himself, along with standing committee, from those made by the respective arbitrary authority of others in the various sectors and zones. The later type of arrests occurred, and those they arrested, they Ce kept in their respective places, lieu, or else they sent them to S21. Ou alors été envoyé à S21. Mr. Polport, at the leadership echelon, only Pot, considered the arrests of cadres who had committed misconduct. So then, in comparison Donc, with the national-wide arrest, the number pays, was small. Les chiffres étaient petits. Kindly be informed of Prenez two note arrests. De deux arrestations. The very first of all were the arrest of Mr. Chan Chakray, the chairman de Chan of Chakray, Division 170 in the dans la East Zone, zone. Est. and the arrest of Mr. Chuk, Chuk Secretary of du Sector 24, Kampong Trabai, in the East dans la Zone. zone. Est. These two arrests of Kateris led to the rampant arrest of Kateris called cadre, the Nine-Year War Group, le groupe who de la had joined de the Viet Minh to fight the French. Avait rejoint le Viet Minh pour combattre les Français. I am familiar with Pol Pot's Je working style. Les de de Pol Pot. On whatever issue, he always needed to collect as many documents as possible, to collect information, possible, to gather a great deal on a situation before making a decision. This was his habit. Q Sampan uh, describes Sampan uh, arrest decisions uh, in, in detail in this clip. De procéder à des arrestations and he states de façon he was familiar with Pol Pot's uh, working style. Les de de Pol Pot. uh, your honors, 
uh, in the first months of 1977 uh, two of the fellow leaders who regularly attended standing committee meetings with Kusampan and Nunchea uh, were sent to S21. Koitun and uh, Suvazi alias Doin, uh, the other member with Kusampan on the 870 political committee. And on the 10th of April 1977, Q. Sampan's longtime colleague uh, and fellow Sampan ghost, uh, Minister of Propaganda Hu Nim, was arrested and sent to S21. Despite these arrests of his colleagues, uh, Q. Sampan uh, continued to full heartedly support and help in implement the CPK enemy policies. Uh, in his 15 April 1977 speech, uh, given just a few days after Hunim's arrest, Q. Sampan stated, we must wipe out the enemy following the lines of domestic policy, foreign policy, and military policy. Everything must be done neatly and thoroughly. And you've heard, uh, Your Honors, um, from Steve Hedder in the first trial. Au cours du premier procès, uh, in 1980, Steve Hedder, uh, before uh, Q. Sampan um, uh, had any access uh, to any written books about the regime, um, Q. Sampan gave a rather revealing interview to Sampan Steve Hedder, a Steve Hedder uh, in which he spoke extensively about Khmer people who were Yun undercover agents, qui des agents who des Yun. He, he stated that Hedder had infiltrated the highest levels of the party, au plus haut du including party, the Central and Standing Committee au du meetings. Et du et de leur and he told Hedder, I quote, a dit ceci à Hedder that in 1977 to 78, his words, we managed to deal with those people Completely. Nous avons réussi à régler complètement le sort de ces gens. The evidence, uh, Your Honors, refutes les preuves existantes uh, the lie we have heard from Q. Sampan and that he repeated to OCIJ that he did not know of a single arrest during the period of Democratic Kampuchea. Democratique, il n'a eu connaissance d'aucune arrestation. You heard uh, in the two trials about political des, education procès, by both accused, uh, par les deux accusés. sometimes by the two of them together. Parfois ensemble. Uh, you heard a testimony from people who heard both Noon Chea and Q. Sampan speak about fellow leaders who betrayed the party, qui ont entendu such as Khoi Tun, witnesses comme such as M. Un, Ekhen, Rusui, Rusui, all testified about tous the political education meetings. Rusui, Rusui uh, had a vivid memory of Noon Chea playing a tape recorder of Khoi Tun's confession. Une bande sonore des aveux de and you heard at the end of this trial, near fin, the very end, from procès, a civil party, Prip Chun, tout à la fin, vous avez regarding the speech Chun, that was given by Q. Sampan uh, to people Sampan from the East Zone, de la zone est. Uh, which was uh, played for you, I believe, during the civil parties, Et je pense que uh, in which Q. Sampan uh, instructed the people Sampan, uh, do not betray the party. Ne faut pas le uh, parti, if you did, you will be killed. En cas de trahison, c'est la mort. Let me uh, uh, conclude, Your Honors, by uh, coming back one more time, je vais one last time, <laughs> revenir une toute dernière uh, fois to Tet Sambat's interviews sur of Noon Chea. Uh, we've Sambat. seen these, um, but these interviews, uh, the accused clearly expresses his agreement with support uh, for the killings of reported traitors during the regime. Et and if we could play video clip of three, please. Three. Was it right to kill uh, traitors? Juste de tuer des traitres? 
Je ne veux pas être accusé de brutalité. Mais il faut bien se demander si c'était raisonnable compte tenu de la menace qu'il posait pour la nation. Croyez-moi, si ces traîtres étaient restés en vie, le peuple Khmer aurait été perdu.